Guess what? It is now time for another review with Mind Games. Alright, what's up YouTube? Mind Games here is Jasper with another review. Um, today we're doing the Qdos, hopefully I'm saying that right, Qdos uh, jet shell for the iPhone 3G or 3GS. Um, as you know, they are, they're both the same size. So with this, first you get, they're all out of the box already because look, didn't really think of reboxing it. So you get a nice cleaning cloth with their logo imprinted on it. Um, it's on this side. So their logo is imprinted on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. Uh, you get a mirror screen protector, which is already on my phone. I've been using it for a while now. And the, sh the case, it's a very simple case. Just a black, simple, pl like plastic case with a matte finish. Um, so let's wipe down the phone and throw this on. Get to the review. So to get this on, all you do is slip it button side first and then just snap it over like so. Um, easy as that. So you can see on the side here, it's open right here. You can get to your volume up and down really easily. They do give you that little kind of cut out here so that it's easy to get to your silence your silence switch. Um, up here, wide open, you can get to your SIM tray. You can use your headphones. You can still access the um, sleep awake button. And some of your comb up here is still exposed. So you do get a bit of flash up there. Um, down here, fully open again. Uh, again, you can see there's the chrome that goes around here. Um, these speakers are open. You can still port with it. Uh, still use your microphone. Um, back here, you can see nothing's really open except for your camera hole. Camera hole is pretty nicely cut out, so it's not obscured or anything. Um, and it's just a nice matte finish on the back. Nice feel, nice touch. Um, so it does feel nice in your hand. You can see the front here. Most of your chrome is covered. Uh, the sides are covered. The top and bottom are fully exposed. So that's kind of a downside if you don't like your um, your chrome exposed. But with the mirror screen protector, it kind of just looks like it just goes right over, except for the little. Don't know if you can really see that. Um, there's just a little space in between the screen protector and the chrome, but nothing too big. Um, uh, with that, you don't get that much lay on the table design. You do have a little bit because it is a bit raised, but not as much up here or down here. So you do have sort of a little lay on the table design, like always. You have the lay on the table design on the back. Um, you can still access pretty much everything on your screen. I'm going to wipe this down. It's a dirty screen. <laughs> so you can still access your screen. Uh, nothing's being covered or anything. There's nothing covering up here up here. With a mirror screen protector, there is that um, little cutout here so your sensors aren't blocked. And they do have a nice cutout. It does look like, it does look really nice. The only downside, I think, to mirror screen protectors is that right now, uh, in the summer, are that it is hard to read anything on um, a, a mirror screen protector in the sun. It's kind of like you're looking into something and you're just like blinded, like look. Like there, blinding. Like, uh, also, you do have to have your, your um, brightness all the way up with this. What I, that's what I found at least. Uh, you can still use it with the brightness low, but it does make the screen a lot darker than it normally is. Usually with normal screen protectors or no screen protector, I have it down there. Uh, that's how low my brightness is. But with this, I found I needed to have it all the way up so that it's easier to use, um, easier to see everything, and everything's a lot clearer. But if you're one of those people that like to check yourself out, look, you can check me out. Or check out my camera, me looking. Anyway, uh, mirror screen protectors aren't that bad. They do smudge fairly easily, so it's kind of like um fingerprint magnet if you have greasy fingers but it's it's an alright screen protector uh... with other cases i found that this does lift up because it is thicker so it does sort of lift up with, with slider cases that push up against the chrome here and that go over the chrome um, 
But other than that, the case is slips in and out of your pocket very nicely. Um, does feel very nice in your hand, very thin. So it's kind of like there's not much on your case at all, or on your phone at all. Um, you do get a bit of drop protection. The corners here again are exposed, so if you drop them on those corners, you don't get that much drop protection there. Uh, you do have a little bit back here if it falls backwards like that. If it falls forward, not that much. You might crack your screen. Um, keeps out your lint and everything. Overall, this case, it's a good throw on case if you have, if you just kind of want to throw something on just to look classy, just to keep your phone a bit protected. Say you're going out for something uh, in the middle of the night or something and you want to just throw something on. It's not that bad of a case. Now, another downside to this case is I found it's kind of hard to get it off. You kind of have to dig down here and sort of. I still haven't figured this out. You gotta lift it up. There you go. And pull out. So it's kind of hard to get off. Um, unless you're an expert at taking cases off your phone. But it's not that bad of a case. It's very simple. Love the screen protector. Just not in the summer. Um, it's a good screen protector to have if you're indoors a lot. It works very well indoors with a lot of sun kind of hard to see what's going on. I find myself having to go like this a lot, shading it so that I can see my screen. Um, but other than that, this case isn't that bad. It's You get a nice screen protector, nice cleaning cloth, and very simple case, which adds pretty much no bulk at all. You can see there. So if you want to check them out, their website will be on the side over there. I believe it's kudosound.com. Uh, if I'm wrong, I will have the link on the side, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so go check them out, and I will talk to you guys again in my next review. Peace out, YouTube.